background, background, background. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Something else. Alright guys, hey what's up? V8 Merc here and this video is a little bit special today because it's marking my first year on YouTube, uh, at least my first year being serious on YouTube. And you know, I tried it out just to you know put up a video about my gun and I got a little bit of a positive feedback. So I just started to continue on with the project and I consider it more of a project than anything else and I like doing it. So in regards to being on here for the first year, I thought a um, or for my first year, I thought I should do a contest for you guys. Um, you can do a little giveaway and you guys can get something. Um, so I picked up a few things that I thought would be useful to, to you guys. Uh, I tried to think of like what would something what would be something that I want that I could use every day. And the first thing I thought of was uh, a knife. So I got some knives and I got a couple other and I got something else as well. Um, so I'll start off here with the knives. And they're not just any knives, they are Victoria Knox knives. I got three of them because we're gonna have three prizes here. And I will open up one of them and show you guys what we're working with. Uh, these are Tinkers uh, and Translucent Ruby. So they're not the standard red, and if you know anything about Victorian Ox knives, then you'll know that a lot of them come with corkscrews. Well, these are the ones that don't come with the corkscrews. I specifically uh, did not cho uh, choose those because I thought those weren't as uh, as necessary as, say, a Phillips head screwdriver, which these ones have. And you guys can see the ruby translucent scales here. And maybe you can read that Victorinox. I think it's upside down actually. It says Victorinox right on top of the tweezer. And that's what really caught my attention. So these here, I'll go through the through the tools this one has. This one has the Phillips head screwdriver, right? And then also on the back is an awl, AWL. And this is used for uh, punching holes and stuff like leather or even like drilling holes in wood or something like that. And then here it has the main blade which is on this side. Really nice. You know, Victorian Knox quality. And then here also it has the smaller blade. Smaller pen knife blade. And can opener with a small flathead screwdriver and then on this side is the bottle opener uh, with a bigger flathead screwdriver and this one's pretty useful uh, for the bottle opener part that is. So I tried picking one that I thought you would use say when you went to the range and you need to work on your gun or something like that and you had to I don't know fix it do something this would probably be more useful to you um, than you know say just a straight blade knife with no other uh, tools on it. Um, it's also good, you know, for everyday use. You can use it on just about anything. I'm sure you'll find uh, a task to use it on. Oh, and I also forgot that this, uh, i got to show the tweezer as well. The logo is actually written on the translucent scales. And here's the tweezer. And it also has the toothpick. And I'll try to hold it from the little edge. And I really like the colors on these ones right here. The translucent, I think, is probably the best color that they have. 
Uh, not too big a fan of the old red ones. I mean, that's just me. So, there are three knives for three prizes. And so everybody will, whoever wins in the drawing, I haven't decided I want to incorporate guns into how I'm going to do the drawing. And I also maybe have to probably just end up um, just drawing them out of a out of a hat or something like that. So three uh, three knives here, and the second part of each prize is uh, going to be a cleaning kit. Now I picked up uh, an AK cleaning kit, SKS cleaning kit, and an AR cleaning kit. Uh, the other AK uh, cleaning kit is, hasn't come in yet. It's in transit though, and I'm just going to go over it and show you guys what's in here. Actually, this is actually for anything in 7.62x39. So if you have a VZ-58 or any other kind of a 7.62x39 rifle, this will work. So this one has uh, buttons to uh, keep it closed. And each cleaning kit comes with pretty much the same thing. So this one has uh, your cleaning rod. It's, I think it's in three sections or four sections. And then two of the tips here, one for your patches and then one for uh, something else. Oh yeah, one for the like the adapter, that's what it was. So that fits in the back pocket of it right there. In the front pocket we have a solvent or oiling bottle, whatever you choose to do. Okay, and this one comes with cleaning patches Right there, just a little small amount of cleaning patches. Comes with a bore brush, a brass one, brass bristled bore brush. And it also comes with a chamber brush here. So you can clean out the chamber. And the last thing here is this little kind of toothbrush thing. This brush you can clean up your bolt with. It's got a small, tiny, one straight row of bristles right there. And then on this side, it's got a little notch in there to clean out some other stuff. So that's, uh, I think that's it. Yep, that's all it in here. That's all that's in here. And this one uh, was a little different. The AK SKS cl uh, cleaning, cleaning kit uh, came with patches, but the AR one did not. And I'll show you what's in the AR one too. It's exactly the same, but the bore brush is obviously different, and the chamber brush is different. It's specific to 556. Five, Two two three, and it also has a um, pipe cleaner on it for some reason. But this one fits in the butt stock. So if you had an A2 stock, this will fit in there. And I'll go ahead and just quickly show you guys. It has almost the identical same stuff that you just saw. So you got the bottle, the rods, and then you have the same brush here same exact brush. The only difference is you get the chamber brush for 223 and you get the bore brush as well. And I'm going to throw in some cleaning patches into here too because uh, I didn't think that was kind of fair that this one didn't get it. Because uh, the whole point is is that you could you know take this and your knife all to the range with you, you throw it in your range bag and if you have a problem or if you're just going to clean your gun there because it's just easier. Uh, before you get home. Uh, the whole point is that your cleaning kit can take care of you right there so you want everything uh, with you. So uh, that's it for the prize. I mean everybody gets a knife, everybody will get a cleaning kit. Um, the order of who gets a, the AR kit and the other AKS -KES kit will be determined during the during the uh, raffle video and um, we'll figure that out there. So I got three prizes that I'm contributing, but I got a message from another YouTuber that I've talked to for a long time. Um, his name is Half Yankee. Uh, I'll annotate his channel in. Well, I'll put his channel down in the description below. And he said he wanted to be a part of it. He said, I want to donate a, a fourth prize. Now, I don't know what the fourth prize is, but I'm going to leave a link to the video which shows you the fourth prize. Uh, it's coming from Half Yankee's channel. So this link is going to take you to that video and you can watch that there. Now the last part to this whole thing is the guidelines. You guys are probably wondering how, uh, how, 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 what do I need to do to win these prizes? Well first, you have to be a resident of the continental U.S., the first 48 states, and it has to be within the U.S., can't ship outside the country because the shipping cost goes uh, way up. 
Uh, it should be sub to me, uh, new or old, doesn't really matter. Uh, and also, I think you should be sub to Half Yankee as well. He's uh, going to be, you know, donating the fourth prize here, so you got to show some respect and just go over to his channel. Uh, check out his videos too. One of the one of the most favorite videos that I have of his is the one where he's showing his ammo collection, which is outrageous. It's fucking insane. Um, it's so cool. He's got so much ammo, very different variations of ammo. I think he's even got ammo for guns he doesn't have. He's got a Excel sheet which shows you different rates and stuff that he purchased that. You know what? Just go to the video. There's more to it. Just go to his channel. Search for that video. It's there. And he's got plenty of other vids too to watch. So go ahead and check that out. Make sure you sub to him. And uh, new or old doesn't really matter for for me if you're going to su sub to me for this contest. Um, and so the whole main point of um, of entering here is to do a video response. Now the video response, I think it should be on your favorite gun, the one that you uh, like the most, that you cherish the most out of your whole collection as of right now. What's your most favorite gun? And you just tell me about it, uh, when did you get it, what caliber, you know, obviously all the basic stuff like that, when did you get it, and would you sell it or would you not sell it? It's one of those price possessions. So I'll go ahead and kick it off and I'll show you guys my favorite gun. I haven't showed it on my channel yet and I, I want to soon. We've had this gun for a long time. So without further ado, let me move out these knives out of the way. That's it right there. That's an L1A1 Sporter right here. And move these mags out of the way. And this is my favorite. It's in 308 7.62 by 51 NATO. And this is a pre ban L1A1. So no bullet button on this one. If you guys don't remember, I'm from California. And man, I love this gun. It's got a lot of power, a lot of firepower. It's really comfortable to me. I mean, it's a little heavy, but. I don't mind it so much. It's the full 21 inch barrel uh, with the, it's also got a laser on it. Here, I'll show you that. And it's got the flash header as well. And this is uh, threaded and then it's got the pin up here for that. So here's a little bit of a rolling view of it. And this is my most favorite rifle. I don't think I would ever sell this. Uh, I just I can't see myself selling this thing. I really love it. So that's my favorite gun uh, that we currently own right now. And I really can't think of another gun that's going to top this one for me. Maybe in the future there might be, but you never know. So that's mine. So, the, so what I need you guys to do is if you're going to enter for this, remember, make sure you're part of the continental US and you're sub to me and half Yankee. New or old, doesn't matter. And then your favorite gun. Tell us a little bit about it and maybe a little bit extra if you want. If you want to throw some shooting in there, that's okay too. All right, guys, uh, just put the video response down below to this one. And I'm looking forward to watching all your guys' videos, okay? All right, you guys, Pete Merck, signing out.